Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Trina and this is Decorate Made Easy. On my channel, I do everything home decor related, including DIYs, home organization, um, cook with me and shop with me videos and just simply having fun. So please, at the end of this video, please hit that red subscribe button and click your notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, y'all, so let's get started. Today, I'm going to show you guys um, my pantry revamp. I'm going to get in there and try to organize my pantry today. Day. It's been organized before, maybe about a year ago, and I kind of let it slip and uh, get out of control and everything. So the kids then threw everything all over the place and stuff is um, out of order. So today I'm going to try to get that, uh, get that situated today, go in there and try to find out, go in there and try to get everything that's um, expired out of there, things that I'm not using, just purge everything that's um, unnecessary that's in there that we're not using and get rid of it and try to organize organize everything all over again to make sure it's more functional and more um, adequate, adequate for me and my family. So I want to show y'all real quick what I bought from the King Dollar to kind of organize. So first of all, to help me organize, I went to Walmart and I got these little adjustable three-tier can organizers. I don't really use a lot of canned food, but I do um, use a lot of um, black beans and uh, kidney beans and stuff like that. So I'm going to purge all of the stuff that I don't use anymore because we use mainly uh, fresh ingredients as far as, as our vegetables and all of that. So I'm going to purge those ingredients, I mean, purge those cans out and um, reorganize everything. So I found these at Walmart. These were $11 a piece and I thought they were like really good. So I'm going to try these out and try to organize my cans in my pantry using these things. And I end up getting two of these. So that's what I got there. And then also I went to the our local dollar store which is um, it's called actually called King Dollar. So everything in there is like $1.25. And I found these really cute, beautiful jars in there that I'm gonna use to kind of um, organize some of my dry ingredients. I already have some jars in there, but I think I need additional ones because I need to, um, I have some other stuff that I wanna kind of organize better in jars instead of just leaving them in their boxes. So I got four of those, because like I said, I already got some in my pantry, but I'll show you guys that. So I got four of those jars there. Then I also found these little things here are some um, bath collection organizers. And I'm going to just use this to kind of store my um, those loose seasoning packets that I have. So they always never have a, any room to put those things. And they're always kind of falling everywhere. So I found these at the dollar store. And I figured that, hey, I'll try to use this as a little storage container to kind of store those loose seasoning packets. So we'll see how that works as well. And then also they had these little um, kind of like mainstay, these kind of mains, these mainstay bin, storage bins. They were like, you get two in here and they were $1.25 at the dollar store. So I thought that was a really good, good deal because at Walmart, I forget how much it is at Walmart, but it is more than $1.25. So I got two packs of those and I'm going to use that to kind of store like maybe um, some, um, additional box items or whatever like that. So those are the only things I got from the store. Oh, and I also got from the dollar store, I got some additional labels. Uh, like I said, I already got my, kind of got my um, system in place. I just kind of got to revamp it because like I said, it kind of got away from me. So everything is kind of out of control now. So I went and got some additional labels for these jars and I'm gonna go in there and clean everything out and get it all organized. So let's get started. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna show you a quick uh, glimpse of my pantry and show you what we're gonna be working on today. Sorry for the lighting, it's kind of really dark in here today because it is really gloomy outside. It is like 30 degrees in Texas, which is odd for us because usually it's not this cold, but it's really cold today, so it's gloomy and dark outside. So I apologize for the lighting and um, hopefully y'all be able to see this and hope that you'll be able to see uh, the area that I'm working in. Okay, you guys, so this is my pantry so far. And like I said, I have, it's a bunch of things in there. See all that stuff I need to get in there and organize and actually purge out because I can tell y'all right now, it's probably some stuff that's in there that's expired because it's been sitting up there for a long time. And we don't even use majority of that stuff that's up there. So like I said, it was kind of organized before. So you kind of see some system in place, like my jars and everything. I had those labeled and all that, but everything else is kind of out of place and kind of messy and, and, you know, and just look, just looks cluttered. So I'm going to end up taking all this, everything out and we're going to start from scratch 
and reorganize everything. So, and this is everything now. And hopefully y'all can see this. And we're gonna get started. You guys, so I started to remove everything out of my pantry and I'm making progress or whatever. So I did like one, two, three, four. I did four shelves already, and as you can see, I still have all of this crap up there and all the stuff down there on the bottom. On the bottom, if y'all can see that, and all of this stuff on the side. So I'm making progress, but I'm halfway there, and I still have a lot to Okay, you guys as you can see behind me I went ahead and finished taking down the rest of everything in this pantry and I removed everything from the bottom but still got all that crap at the top so I'm gonna recruit my kids to get in here and help get some of this stuff off this pantry shelf because there's so much stuff up there so I'm gonna recruit them to take some of that take all that stuff down so we can organize and see if that stuff is expired I can guarantee you a lot of that crap is expired because it's been sitting there for over a year, so I know it's pretty bad. So I'm gonna get up there and get that stuff down. Okay guys, so this is my pantry all cleaned out. We got everything, trying to get in here so y'all can see, but we got everything removed out of the pantry and everything. That's what we left with. I took everything off of the shelves. So let me show y'all all the stuff that was inside this pantry. I don't even know how it fit in this little pantry, but it's a lot of crap. Look at all this stuff. This is all the stuff that came out of, <coughs> excuse my husband in the background call. <coughs> anyway, this is my, this is all the crap that came out of this pantry. Boxes and boxes of stuff. Look at all these canned foods. This is all the canned stuff that came from out of that pantry. And actually I was going through some of the cans as I was passing it to my son, trying to get it out off of the shelf. And, a lot of that stuff, unfortunately, is not expired. It's been sitting up there a while, for over a couple of years, and it ain't, it's, it's still good. <laughs> Who knew? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try to keep all the main things that we use on a regular basis, stuff like I said that we don't use, then my son just told me that they're having a food drive at his school, so I'm gonna take the rest of those canned stuff that we're not using and um, donate it to the school at the food drive. But yeah, that's all the stuff that came out of the pantry. That's all the canned food. Here's some more uh, popcorn and stuff over there. And then this is all of my jar items and things over here. Like I said, some systems, my systems are already in place. Like I had stuff already kind of labeled, but it just kind of got unorganized. And I got stuff that's been sitting in here. Like this stuff's been sitting in here before Christmas. I didn't know I even need that. So I need to get rid of all that stuff that we're not using. So that's kind of like an overview of my pantry, y'all. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and try to create a system and get everything organized and put in put in order so it's a little bit more functional for us. For us. Okay? So let's continue on. The little shelving racks for the canned food that I showed y'all earlier that I got from Walmart. So I got two of them, but now I'm thinking that that's not even gonna be enough for all of my stuff. For the more the majority of the stuff that I'm gonna keep. So we'll see how it works. I might have to add another shelving unit or something else in there too to kind of house the other canned food. But yeah, because I think you can get a total of 27 cans on each rack. And then each shelf, uh, each shelf holds, I believe, nine cans. So we'll, I'm going to start putting that together and see what I can fit on there.
Okay, you guys, so this is the canned goods all displayed on the rack. And what I did was I put the stuff in the front that's getting ready to expire so that they'll use that stuff first. And then the stuff that um, expires later on is in the back. Okay guys, so this is what it's looking like so far. I'm just kind of like dry fitting everything in there, trying to get an idea where I want to place my um, baskets or my little bins. And these are my new jars that I just bought. So I'm just kind of like playing around with it to see where I want to put everything at. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the labels on, on those since they're all new. And I did went ahead and get the canvas all situated down there. These are all the canned foods that we're keeping and that we use on a regular basis. So I got those down at the bottom so they're not so heavy taking up space. So I'm just gonna continue to keep working. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and started labeling some of the bins. So I'm gonna use this one right here for onions. I got one for potatoes and I kind of went ahead and just set that stuff in there. So we're gonna continue to keep working. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and started putting my jars back inside the pantry, as you can see, and this is what it's looking like so far. So I have everything labeled, and I have just some of the things that's in the back that we don't use that often, you know, like brown sugar and extra kidney beans and all that. I have that back place on that back shelf, just sitting on a little uh, wooden riser or whatever, just so we can kind of read the label a little bit better. But this is what it's looking like so far, and I think it looks good and cute. I just still have to fill in those new jars that I bought, so um, I need to go ahead and uh, get those labeled and get items put in those. And then I went ahead and put put those bins at the top. Like I got my um, ramen noodles in there for the kids. I got snacks in there for the kids. Then I have onions and then I have potatoes there. I'm actually going to go back to King Dollar and get two more packages of those uh, pin, those bins because they actually work really well. And I'm going to put it on the top shelf there. So I still got a, a little bit more to go. So I'm going to continue working. Okay, you guys, so this is my end product of my pantry. Everything is cleaned out. I organized everything back uh, a little bit better than what it was before. And I think it actually turned out really, really good. So I like it. I think it turned out amazing. So 
I got the light on in here with my phone so because it's kind of dark in here so I got the light on so you guys can kind of see the end product but everything is kind of organized way better so I'm gonna start at the bottom here remember I told you in the beginning I went ahead and organized the canned goods I kind of took out all the stuff that I wasn't going to be using anymore and then I just say the stuff that we do use and is organized from the things that's going to expire first is in the front and then stuff that's going to expire last is in the back some of the cans are kind of mixed in together because I only had like a few of each of certain ones so they kind of get thrown in there with um other like objects or whatever or other like uh can items or whatever so down here at the bottom i have my um water that i have there on the side oops sorry camera's flipping again got my water down there got some extra sodas down there then this shelf here i kind of just have um like quick oatmeal and uh breakfast items in this bin then i have my uh quick prep meals in this box here like extra you know macaroni and cheese and boxes of things uh boxes of rice stuff that really can't go in a container but um but it's quick prep meals or whatever so i have that there and i have just some cooking oil and some more soda down there then on this next shelf i just have um have my some pasta shells in the bag and then i put i told you i have these little containers that i got from um the dollar general it was like a dollar and 25 cents a piece these other containers i had before i got those from at home stores and i believe these were like 7.99 a piece for the large ones and i think the smaller ones were this size right here was like a 6.99 a piece and they actually came with the label and it came with the chalk so they may still have them i'm not sh i'm not sure or whatever but those i got from at home stores but the rest of these other ones right here i got from um king dollar and those ones are $1.25. And then also these long, large containers here, I got from at home stores. And I think these were a little bit more pricey. I think these were like $9.99, $9.99 a piece. So I just got some more dry goods in there, cereal crackers, um, bread crumbs, I got extra coffee. I normally use my K-Cups, but when people come over, I do um, have extra coffee in here just in case I need to make a big, uh, a larger pot for a guest. I have some more pasta back there. And then I just kind of got all my dry goods here in the jars on the top, stuff that needs to be kind of sealed. So all of these jars and lids have um, the silicone uh, stoppers in there that kind of keeps it sealed and fresh. So make sure when you're doing your pantry, make sure it has uh, the little rubber silicone uh, stopper thing inside the lid so that way your food stays fresh, okay? So that's that and then at the top I just have let me try to see if I can step back at the top I just have um, some my potatoes my onions I have more I have snacks at the top and then I have um, those little ramen noodle packs because my kids love those ramen noodle packs so I have those at the top and then I actually got the snacks put all the way up here because my little son he'll go in here and he'll eat the um, you know eat the snacks all day and stuff like that so I kind of got those up here so he can't reach so he'll need to ask um, one of us my husband and I for uh, snacks or whatever without eating them every day and not I mean not even stuff that's good for them then at the top I don't know if y'all can see this at the top I just have oh yeah I can sit back I just like uh, I have some extra rice uh, peanut butter then I have like see I have the chips all the way up there and then I have um popcorn some extra spaghetti sauce and some extra those large cans couldn't fit in my little can uh organizer down here at the bottom so I had to um, actually stick that up there actually my little label is peeling off now the labels came from the King Dollar and I kind of just kind of stuck it on there but you see that one up there is kind of peeling off so you can probably hot glue it on there and it'll probably last a little bit longer but I kind of just stuck mine on there and just in case I need to change something out or whatever um, it'll be re I mean, you can just peel it off without it uh, without it sticking on there so, and that one looks like I need to kind of re-fix it again because it's falling off. But there you go. There's my pantry update. And that's the inside of the pantry and all the stuff that I have there. Then in the side of the door here, as y'all remember in the before picture, I it was cluttered with all types of stuff. So I cleared all that stuff out. And the only thing that I kept in on these shelves was I kept the bread there and then I kept all the condiments there then I kept some uh, extra Ziploc bags and extra straws there everything else I ended up just um, clearing it out and tossing it and put it in some, another uh, space so as you can see I have some empty shelves here so I actually have room to grow
Okay, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my little pantry refresh in there, my pantry organization. I appreciate y'all coming out and watching uh, my videos and hanging out with me today on this Saturday. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button and click the notification bell so you'll know every time I upload a video. 100 subscribers, y'all, so we will be having a giveaway pretty soon. So make sure you subscribe and have your notification bell on to listen for details for that in, my, um, in one of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.